feel empowered that I went through it all and I've survived it and I've come out on the other side. I feel really good when I can help other young women who are diagnosed with breast cancer and be able to tell them it's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. My name is Erica Griffin and I was treated for stage 3 breast cancer. Before I went to Sightman, I was actually misdiagnosed, and it had been about a year and a half before I got the correct diagnosis. Most young women aren't getting screened for breast cancer, so she noticed a lump on self-examination and went to her physician and initially was told not to worry about it. It was probably a cyst. During that time, I felt really well. I was concerned, but I had been so reassured by you know my doctors elsewhere that I tried not to, you know, let it bother me because they had said it was nothing. When I heard my diagnosis, I was completely rocked all the way to my core. I was scared for myself, but more importantly, I was scared for my kids. I was scared for my husband and my family. I was almost more worried about everybody else than I was myself. I told her that cancer doesn't scare me. Just because the cancer was already forming a lump when they found it, it doesn't mean we can't cure it. Oh, when I first met Julie Morgan Taylor, when she walked in the room, I felt so comfortable. I knew that I was going to be well taken care of. The last thing I'm thinking about is that this cancer is going to be a life-threatening situation. I'm thinking about how am I going to cure her cancer? My treatment included about seven surgeries, a double mastectomy and reconstruction, a year of chemotherapy, six weeks of radiation, and hormone therapy that I continue still. She made it through that first treatment, and she got up and walked out. She gave me a huge hug, and she said, I never thought I could get through this day. She completely took our fear from this level all the way down to this level. She was just amazing. We really have so many resources available to us on all aspects of your treatment, whether it's the surgical part, the medical oncology or chemotherapy side, or the radiation oncology side of things. There's so much research happening here on a daily basis and innovation. Uh, we have technology available to us in the operating room and, and outside of the operating room that other centers just don't have. I wanted to be where the latest and greatest treatments and technology was going to be taking place, and I knew that that was Siteman. The benefits of a high volume cancer center are that uh, you're, you're not the first patient, you're not the only patient, you're, uh, you, your, your physicians are extremely experienced in treating exactly what you're going through. Where you go makes a huge difference. It makes a difference in your diagnosis, it makes a difference in your treatment, it makes a difference in the rest of your life. We really function as a team. As a result, yes, our, our outcomes are better. And that's why women need to be on top of getting their mammograms, getting them at a place like Siteman where they are trained and they're watching these things and they know what they're looking at and they know what they're looking for. Erica is doing great now. She's five years out from her original diagnosis. She's an avid runner that never changed through her treatment and she's just an amazing person and, and doing very, very well. I am very optimistic about my future. I have no doubt that I'm in the best hands and I'm going to be here for a long time.